you're watching Sight Sounds Flavors on YouTube, SightSoundsFlavors.com. We're here in front of the Marshall County Courthouse in Plymouth, Indiana. And uh, we're going to show you around town here. This is a beautiful community in northern Indiana. It's the week before Christmas. As always, we appreciate you watching Sight Sounds Flavors on YouTube and invite you to subscribe, like, and comment. I do these videos primarily for the comments, to be quite honest with you. That's where I learn the most, is from the locals and the folks that have lived here before. This is a very, very beautiful community. And I always like to show the courthouses, post offices, judicial centers, cathedrals. But I also show the alleys. I show the gas stations. I show cigarette ads. I mean, I show it all. Because after all, I mean, the difference between what I do and what a lot of the tourist highlight reels do is that I want to show you everything that I see, everything that I hear. If I eat something, I want you to know what it tastes like. That's why it's called Sight Sound Flavors. Now they have a very nice downtown. It's about, I would say about 25 degrees maybe. It's a little windy. We're very close to the lakes. If you hear folks honking their horns, that's a lot of times what they want is for me to turn the camera Sometimes people will honk their horns and wave and such, which is great, but um, in this kind of weather, I find that it's best to kind of focus on where I'm walking because it can be very slick, although they've done a fantastic job here because the, uh, there's the car I rented, uh, because they have kept plowing and uh, staying on top of things although the snow as you can see isn't anything crazy but um they've definitely been good about doing that la dessert cafe interesting i hope i pronounced that correctly and again that is the point of sight sounds flavors on those comments that i keep asking for is i want folks to say hey you didn't pronounce that correctly and i'll be like well tell me how to pronounce it now do a better job first united church of christ one block over here i'm guessing it's maybe this building over here but there's also a church over here it looks like first source bank plymouth i like these signs up here let you know that uh, the library and the police department are over here to the right so there's a lot of stuff that away over here we've got a hearing aid center real estate office First Source Banks also got some signage, which is really cool. We've got Lucky Spot, Convenient Mark, with a cool monster sign below it. I'm guessing it's to the right. And there it is, there's a the Lucky Spot. Got treats for her. Not sure what that is, Squire Shop. I like the uh, buildings up above. You got this building and one behind it. Actually, that's one. No, those are two buildings, but it's optical illusion almost in a way because they seem like they're one and the same, but but they're not. Sometimes people are like, are you on drugs? Are you drunk? No, but I mean, it's like sometimes when you look at something for the first time, your eyes, they play tricks on you, you know? We got the brass rail now booking holiday parties, so maybe that's like a... Uh, like a uh, a restaurant with a hall or something. The sidewalks here are very beautiful. The Pilot News Group, Pizza Bills, Women's Care Center, Brass Rail Bar and Grill, closed on Sunday. Very interesting. A lot of places are closed on Sunday. Michigan Street Apartments. Wow, the brass rail, it's a banquet room. Yeah, so it's got, it's like a hall, you know? Xavier cleaners. I gotta get a coat dry clean, I just remembered. 
Max 98.3, classic hits of the 70s and 80s studio. So you got a radio station in there. Hear the difference. Very cool. And again, we're sight sounds flavor, so I like it. I dig it. Like the uh, Christmas tree and the wreath. Antojitos, catrachos. That I think is a Honduran flag, I think. I think that's Honduras. EDS Boutique, Bears Ice Cream Shop. Bears is also closed. Oh, they're not closed. They're, well, the sign says closed, but their hours should be open, so. Jewelry shop, jewelry shop. Cook agency, not sure what that is. Look at that limo. Wow, someone's doing well in Plymouth. Over here you got more signs here. Lincoln Junior High, Heartland Art Gallery, River Park Square, Wild Rose Moon. And it looks like Plymouth was established in 1836 where community and possibilities connect. Over here there's the farmer's market over that way. And there's more downtown there. I love this. Oh, Lock and Key Boutique. But I like the... Um, the mural with the stars and stripes but also includes the Indiana flag emblem this is a beautiful beautiful piece of art right here I like it and also like this I'm not sure what this is and this is a very cool over here museum interesting got Michael Jackson thriller there Olympic boycotts Tiananmen Square, the U.S. boycott of the 1980 Olympics in Moscow in protest of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. In 1989, students, student protesters gathered in China's Tiananmen Square calling for reform. Eventually, the number swelled to more than one million, and the government responded with force. There you got Princess Di and now King Charles, who's, well, let's not get into that. Reagan, George, and Barbara. It's very cool. The Compact Portable Computer 1983 retailed for $2,995, roughly $7,800 today. Very interesting. What is this? No other video game stacks up to Atari. See, I love that. Uh, it's so cool. Look at that. Sony Walkman with headphones circa 1986. Very cool. This building here is absolutely beautiful. Once again, we are in Plymouth, county seat of Marshall County, here in Indiana. Look at that. Marshall County at the movies. Marshall County Museum. Definitely check this out, guys. This seems like a great place. And it's located on Garrow Street and North Michigan Street. Look at the buildings up here. Look how beautiful that is. That's so cool. Marshall County Museum, Historic Crossroads Center. Probably supported by Marshall County Community Foundation. This is really cool, guys. Puzzles, $5 each, three for 10. Books, one to $5. CDs, one to $10. This is the research library for the Marshall County Museum. To browse our sale items, please enter at the north corner door. Very cool. Plot books. I don't know what a plot book is. A plot book is that like a blueprint book, or is that like no? I think a plot book is like the original city plans. Is that right? Someone educate me. I will definitely Google it when I get home. But that's cheating. Like I should know this stuff without having to Google it. You know what I mean? Google is cheating. So if somebody knows what that is. Leave a comment. Don't Google it. Leave a comment if you know what that is. There's Shannon Lunetta. I think that's how you say her name. I hope. Happy Hanukkah there. This is a little theater. So, um, so yeah, guys, that is, well, it's not all of Plymouth, but it's a good bit of Plymouth, a taste of Plymouth, if you will, here on Sight Sounds Flavors on YouTube. Also visit SightSoundsFlavors.com. Please join the Sight Sounds Flavors YouTube uh, channel 
Uh, we have a lot of discussions on various videos and the Sight Sound Slavers Facebook group. Uh, this is a very, very beautiful city and it's really only like, I don't know, like two miles from the highway. Uh, definitely would check it out. Uh, I believe that may be the post office down there. I think. Yes, that's the post office. And a beautiful city. I mean, again, no litter. Did a great job plowing the snow. There's a public library and there's a post office. Again, I try to include the post offices, public libraries, courthouses, judicial centers, that sort of thing. Those are usually the showpieces of the county. And Plymouth is definitely a big city with a lot going on. I absolutely love the museum. And, you know, if what's on the windows on display is any indication of what's inside, you've got to go in there. I studied history at the University of Florida. I'm a history buff, always have been since I was like 10 years old. And um, I would be a kid in a candy shop inside of that museum. It looks like they've got a really, really cool collection of things. And uh, it's honestly a real, real eye-catcher to me because like, I spent a good time on the windows there just like looking in with the camera. And uh, I definitely want to go in. I like the Atari. I like Thriller. Um, I got a kick out of the Walkman. Lots of cool stuff here in Plymouth, Marshall County, Indiana. And again, it's interesting that the main drag is Michigan Street, but I mean, Michigan is a rock's throw from Plymouth. So there's Plymouth, South Bend, and then Michigan. So Michigan's influence is definitely noted. And then of course back there is the courthouse. And uh, about two blocks down from the courthouse, there looked to be what I would maybe think would be a cathedral of some sort. I would have walked down that way, but I'm kind of freezing a little bit, just a little bit. And um, I'm also on my way back to Kentucky. So I wanted to make sure to stop and check out Plymouth uh, and get back on my way. But uh, I do plan on going back to Michigan. I went to law school up there and I definitely plan on either going up this way and stopping in Plymouth or coming back this way. And uh, it's always good to do a 360 when you're doing this kind of work, just to make sure there's Old Glory flying proud next to the uh, First Bank Source flag. But uh, it's good to do that just for security purposes. But I do plan on coming back with the sole intention of going into that museum. I'm actually gonna Google it, see what their hours are. I'd imagine admission would be pretty reasonable, maybe 10, 15, 20 bucks, who knows? And uh, just a great place. I will definitely be back. I hope you enjoyed. Plymouth, Marshall County, Indiana. Sight Sounds Flavors on YouTube, sightsoundsflavors.com. Please join the Sight Sounds Flavors Facebook group. Thank you.